bless you. We're talking these days about the reality of things. About what makes sense. Do you ever have something, one of those aha moments when, when suddenly you're going, oh man, that, now that makes sense. That just the way it was phrased, that's what we're getting at the reality of things. For example, how can you stand before someone or a crowd of people and really get them? Get them to the extent that they actually feel that you get them. And then a lot less words are required because when you get someone, they don't feel they have to explain themselves any further, and they don't need you to do a lot of explanation either. And so it's a, a state of grace, it's a state of ease. And it's actually a very physical condition. Let me explain to you. Now, Act as if, see this as if, you're looking from the top of a person's head, down on the very top of their brain. And they have two eyes. And then they have the optical cortex, the part of the brain that interprets what the eyes are viewing. And then out in front, there's a, an object, a person, or a thing, whatever. And what we have here, from the eyes, is we have two sets of optical nerves. One of them goes straight back and the other one crosses in the middle. In the middle, where they cross, is the pituitary gland. Now most people, when they're viewing, they're looking at some part of you and that focuses the eyes. To really get someone, you want to look at all of them. And that unfocuses the eyes, but it absorbs the whole picture. Now, some people, and you've probably run into them, not even focusing on you, they're actually focusing on what they're thinking about you. And you can tell that they're not actually seeing you they're actually thinking about you. So what I want you to practice in the reality of things is to view the total person. There's an added benefit to this because when you allow your eyes to go in this broader view, instead of just interpreting the vision, you enhance the vision by including the pituitary gland. So what happens is that when you include the pituitary gland in this way, in addition to being your master endocrine gland, it becomes your third eye. And all of a sudden, you begin to receive information about this person that is so encompassing that they truly feel that you understand them, that you know them, that you get them. And by the way, this makes such sense that yogis have been doing it for thousands and thousands and thousands of years. And that's why when you look into the eyes of a yogi, you feel this infinity because they're getting all of you, not just a part of you. And that 
is the reality of things. Bless you. Children, how we love them.